Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Miss E here. Listen, before we get into the video, I wanted to take this time to formally introduce myself. Well, it's really not formal because it's not in person, but it is in real time. Because whenever I make a video, all you hear is a voiceover. But this will be a good time for me to, for you to get a feel of the personality behind the channel and who I am and what I am about. This is gonna be really short, so I hope that you keep watching to the end. So I've been doing hair for many, many years. I'm a wig maker and I'm also an instructor. I'm so excited to be able to share the information that I have with you all. I really, really love what I do and it's so rewarding to be able to give that information out to you guys on this channel. So if you have not subscribed, this would be a good time to subscribe. You wanna hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos that I'm gonna be posting and if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment below or ask a question. I would love to hear from you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. So glad that you're watching today. So glad you stayed to watch this short introduction to the end. So now, let's get into the video. So right here I have my 5x5 lace closure. You can use this technique with any type of closure or frontal. And I have my water bottle because I'm simply going to um, mist the hair just a little bit. You don't want to drench it with water. You just want to um, mist it because when this, these uh, hairs are put into the lace, they're put in really tight, really close, and it makes the hair lay down to the lace. So when the hair lays down on the lace and you bleach it, then it's really likely that the bleach is gonna get onto the hair and that is something you don't want to happen. So right here, I'm just kind of combing it through um, just so the hair can be pliable and movable so that it's not sticking to the lace. So as you can see, I was able to just kind of open that up so that it's not sticking on the lace. So I uh, secured my lace onto my wig head and I'm gonna use 20 volume developer and I'm gonna use my BW2 bleach and I'm gonna mix those together. And if you are really slow or really new at this, you wanna use 20 volume developer because the higher you go up in developer, the faster it's going to work. So I wouldn't recommend 30 or 40 volume developer unless you are able to move really quick with applying it. So I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna use a 20 volume developer. And as you can see, the consistency is really pasty. You don't want it to be runny because if it's runny, you're gonna uh, have a problem with the bleach running onto the hair. So the reason why I'm doing this particular technique is because it helps me to prevent the hair from getting um, bleach on it because once the hair gets bleach on it you're gonna have to go back in and recolor that hair and that is a whole nother animal altogether it's really complicated so I'm applying my uh, mixture of bleach and developer on to the lace closure and you want to apply it to every part of the closure within that border you do want to play pay close attention to the hairline because you want that to be bleached because that's probably going to be more visible than any other part. You want to make sure the hairline close is up to the top of the lace is covered uh, with the bleach product as well. So the application is complete and I am going to turn it right side up. I'm not going to have it upside down. This is a technique that I um, kind of discovered with trial and error. Um, there's probably other people that are doing it as well, but I find out when you allow it to process right side up, the bleach is not going to be as quick to run on to the hair. And I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want the bleach to run into the hair. So I'm processing it right side up instead of upside down. And as you can see, I'm also able to watch it processing. If you have it upside down, you can't really watch it processing. So I can basically part it and watch it processing. And right here, um, I'm gonna go through and just kind of part it so I can look and make sure that everything is processing evenly. And so far, so good. It looks really good here. I am gonna leave it on for um, 20 to 30 minutes.
And as you can see here, this is the end result and it bleached really well. It came out really well. well. No bleach on the hair, which is perfect. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Did you hit the subscribe button? You know the drill. We'll see you next time. Bye.